Welcome back to Fenrir guys and today we have a, a fun case with a big old boy Kendrick, dog to Bordeaux, 10 months old, wonderful dog, lovely temperament, great with other dogs but incredibly strong and I mean through the roof <laughs> strong. He's here to me today as a bit of an emergency consultation. So his owner last night was pulled out in front of traffic through um, him just being so strong. As you can see, you're already gonna notice now there's just kind of no real engagement. He's in a world of his own. Very common for a guarding breed to be on the alert, but it's becoming quite an issue around other dogs and it's pulling for other dogs. The story last night is walking late at night, saw another dog over the road, went, owner went flying on the floor being dragged over the road luckily there was no cars come in but we're at a point now where um, people are getting hurt and it could be much worse so it's time to step in as you can see with a dog this big we've um, the owners have been trying with a slip lead we'll pull through a slip lead no problem whatsoever so we have to get this under control if we don't get this under control and get it under control quickly we're going to face real issues where this could become reactivity based behavior which can then form into aggression or what appears to be aggression with a dog like this that's a one-way path that we don't want to go down so we're going to go straight into some prong collar work today and we're going to tune up with a prong collar now this might be one of the first times especially those of you that are new here that have seen me working with a prong collar this is very much a behavior modification session as opposed to a dog training session when i'm training dogs and trying to train something new I tend to be 99% positive reinforcement and more positive based. When we have a behavior that meets one of my criteria in terms of causing harm to themselves, causing physical harm to other people or other dogs, or causing significant property damage, here we have he's causing harm to himself because he's pulling so bad through a normal collar that it's gonna be affecting his trachea. And we're now definitely at the point where he's causing harm to other people. Last night was a classic case. This is more than justifiable for me to be working with a prong collar and you're gonna see how quickly a prong collar like this can tune up that walking. So what we're gonna be doing is solely around building engagement and getting him walking nicely to heel and give his owners a method to be able to control that intensity. When we bring that intensity down, we can then start to bring engagement with us up and then once we get that engagement where he's looking to us for guidance and direction, this whole introduction that I've been talking, he's not looked at me once. He's been scanning elsewhere. I need to get that attention back to me. When I get that attention back to me, we can go back into more of the realms of training and really then start to be able to level up engagement and start to teach him behaviors that we do want. So I'm just gonna give you another demonstration. We're gonna get moving and you're gonna see how strong of a dog he is, how independent he is, which for a guard dog breed is normal, but from the amount of large male Mastiff breeds I've worked with, I've got to say that Kendrick is probably one of the most independent, confident ones I've ever met. 10 months old, adolescent, going into puberty, it's as bad as it could possibly be for a cocktail of turning this into a significant problem. So without further ado, we're gonna uh, demonstrate and go straight into prong work. So as you can see, we've got my training lead attached to one of our Odin collars for now, which with the traffic handle, really helps but as you can see he's so strong with the prong collar we've got it tight but where we can still get fingers in so that's absolutely no problem we've got it nice and high which will give us the most amount of control and as you can see he's so strong what i'm going to do is just very quickly change over from a normal flat collar we're going to go on to the action part of the prong collar here and then i'm going to show you how quickly this will change a dog's life and change his owner's lives and very well could save this boy's life so we've moved over to the prong collar and what you're going to notice quite quickly is the level of engagement that this is going to give us. So I don't want to commentate too much because it's not fair on Kendricks. We need to get to work with him. So all we're going to do is straight away, you can see I've got no attention here. And all I'm going to do is loose lead and I'm going to give him his name command, Kendrick. Let's go. Good boy. Good boy. And when he goes out to the end, let's go. Good boy. Yes. Let's go. <laughs> yes. Oh, what a good boy. What a good boy. And the simple act of, let's go. Yes, good. So that one was a perfect one. That's a good one to stop. So he wasn't engaged with me and he went to, his another one. Let's go, good. So you can see I'm still walking with one, two fingers here. And if he's not paying attention and already we're starting to get a bit of that engagement back. Good boy. Yes, good boy. And just look at the difference that that so inherently makes. And now, because he doesn't want to feel that pressure on the end of the prong, let's go. Good. 
this is a beautiful example so now he's still very much off in the distance we're not getting any eye contact but look at the difference yes good that was beautiful good boy yes thank you good boy yes and at this point we lavish on the praise that's what i want to see you're a guard dog so i'm okay with you looking around but i really want you to start checking back in with me now i could lure this with food but i want him to do it through relationship and leadership as opposed to food once we get that and it's built off relationship and leadership yes good then i'll start paying it but for now you can already see the instant difference that swapping from a flat collar to a prong collar can do to such a, gi a giant breed. I'm now, straight away, I'm gonna demonstrate this whole principle. So this is a lovely example. I want him to come to me, but he's off fixated over in the distance. So I'm just gonna put a bit of pressure on. Yes, good, good boy. And this time he doesn't wanna go through that area of pressure. You know, look at this, beautiful. Just tuned up. And this is where we have to take into a fact that he is a Mastiff and he is a giant breed. Let's go. Perfect. So you might not have seen that because he was down at the cameraman's feet, but you probably saw the amount of pressure. We're talking a couple of fingers is enough. I'll show you here. Kendrick, let's go. Perfect. Good. So he decided to ignore me. Again, let's go. Good. Again, I want this engagement back on me. If you're not engaged with me and doing your own thing, I'm going to bring you back in. I'm giving him an opportunity to do it verbally because I've got to be fair. Fendrick, let's go. Good, yes. Good boy. So absolutely no correction needed there whatsoever. However, if he was to ignore me, we're literally talking a pop. What we're aiming to do with the prong collar is what I call the snap out of it. And with a dog like a guard dog breed, and he has an incredible nose drive, his nose is glued to the ground and he's glued out, I need to be able to come in and snap him out of it. Now, in the situation that happened last night with his owner, who got pulled over the road with a prong, when that energy builds up and he wants to go and lunge off towards that other dog, the simple act of a, is just enough to give us that stop. That's not acceptable. I need you back on me. And then we can find the balance of what we want here. If we were training obedience Malinois or Shepherds or Dobermans, I might want this in a heel position with eyes glued to me all the time. Could we do that with Kendrick? Yes, we could probably get there at some point. Do we want to? That's a conversation we can have with the owners. He's a natural, independent, confident guard dog breed, bought to be a guard dog, to be a natural, loving family pet that is there as a protector when needed. So this, I don't want to correct or punish. When he does check back to me, which I'd like to see more, I'm going to reward it, but I'm okay for you to be checking everything's okay. What I don't want you to do is be able to make your own decisions and run off, run away, pull off, go towards other dogs. Again, God forbid that become reactivity. It's a disaster waiting to happen. With the addition of a tool like a prong, I don't even need to. The act of me moving is just communicating through the lead. Anybody that says I'm ripping this dog's head off, watch this video this is not a dog in pain let's go good this is a dog that now understands how to communicate these tools when applied fairly Kendrick let's go beautiful so he's in yes beautiful that was good that was good thank you that was one of the first times I got a bit of eye contact so I'm going to lavish on the praise with that situation but all we're going to do through this first session let's go beautiful good And look at this, lovely, look at the difference. So if he pulls out, yes, good. Let's go. And look at that, look how in tune that movement was. Let's go. Beautiful. This isn't a dog that's in pain. Let's go. Good. So again, you saw there, he wasn't, he was making his own decisions. I want to come. If you don't, you're going to get a little pop, which is nothing more than a snap out of it. We're going this way. If he tried to pull through that, we can then level that up and we can meet the intensity that is required to be able to snap out of it. But Kendrick has no food drive at all, especially when he's interested in things off in the distance. So if I can't lure him away with a piece of chicken and he wants to pull off towards another dog of this size, what options are we left with? Well, we're left with avoiding the situation, which is what is most common. These dogs then don't get walked. This is a dog that is 
as big as he is, is athletic and needs exercise. So if he doesn't get that exercise, that's going to become a disaster in itself. So he's going to become bored, destructive, excessive barking, excessive chewing, recipe for disaster. Or we start going out at 1am every night when we know there's going to be no other dogs. And that's no life for him either. So by simply inputting a tool, again, tell me this dog is scared of me. This is a dog. Yes. Oh, thank you. Good boy. Thank you. Not scared him, not upset him. We've got a wagging tail. This is a dog that is building relationship with me now does this happen all the time over quickly no it doesn't but again so you see you might be able to see so he's on the long i want him to come to me yes good so we're literally just pop it's on off yes no and we're always loose we're loose 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 we ask something of him he ignores that and it's on but it's off as quickly as it turned on and that's the essence of a prong collar one of the best tools especially when it comes to behavior modification and one of the most misunderstood tools in um, the amount of dogs lives that would be saved if people were better educated about this tool and again are you upset with me do you think i'm a meanie no are we friends <laughs> yes i think we're friends and this will be able to change this dog's life so the rest of this session we're just going to be working on these directional changes i'm going to do that now and cut the camera because it's only fair that I actually give him some of my undivided attention. And then what you're going to see is how I'm going to free shape that to my heel. Then we're going to hand that off to the owner. So now we've got through that process. Yes, good. Good boy. Good boy. We're starting to build this. Um, this will be interesting to see whether he jumps. Because this is a problem that would be nice to address. No, good boy. <laughs> good boy. Again, if he was to jump up there, principle would be the same. The second that behavior comes, it's quick snap on the uh, prong collar just to let him know that that's not acceptable when we bring back down to this behavior then we go back to pouring on the praise and you're a good boy kendrick thank you good boy this is lovely good manners classic mastiff sitting on my feet wonderful so what we're going to do now is i'm going to show you kind of how we do that exact principle and now we just follow in the same methods we just start to bring it on our left so when he wants to go out to pull instead of doing a direction turn which you can do and it's a great drill to do but it doesn't really serve a purpose if you're actually trying to walk somewhere otherwise you end up just turning back and forward the whole time we're going to do the same principle of using a little bit of lead pressure just to bring him back in and then we're noticing already that he really values just physical praise not food driven at all not toy driven but this physical praise is excellent so you're going to see me coming down and marking it with a rustle behind the ears when he is displaying the right behaviors so again let's wait until he gets a little bit distracted and let's see whether that engagement's there if we want to say let's go yes good straight away i'm now starting to free shape this to my left yes good boy let's go beautiful so now what i would quite like to do but again because we've built this and that was all it is just a little pop here good so we're still loose so this is what i talk about it's off 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 until i good and then just a little pop just to remind him that we're coming back in let's go good beautiful kendrick good boy good boy yes good job good boy oh good boy let's go oh good boy oh yes oh yes so we're getting a little bit out now past my comfort zone i'm gonna slow down good and just bring it nice and back loose lead let's go good good boy bring it back in and again he's going straight back into the mastiff guarding traits and again could we tune this up a bit finer yes has this served its purpose that we want to serve absolutely over drills we can repeat it and bring him back in but just through a very very short session of just applying a little bit of communication through the prong we're now able to have him much better under control now same principle dog comes running out across i can see that that's going to ramp up and my thing is let's go good boy and we're going to go and i'm not giving him the choice what i'm not doing at any point is playing tug of war with him let me just unclip this good boy kendrick break 
So if this is on his prong, what I'm not doing is getting tension and pulling it back and forward. That serves no purpose whatsoever. What we are doing is simply adding a bit of a pop, like a, a crack on the whip is the best analogy. It's loose, 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 crack on the whip, and let's go. It's off as fast as it turns on. We're not turning on and keeping it there for extended periods of time. It's going on and off. And then if he ignores it, we can turn it on and off a bit quicker and we can go up the levels. As is always the case with physical correction, is we want to use the minimal amount of physical correction required to achieve the desired outcome, which is to keep his owners and himself safe, other dogs safe, and potentially save his life. So that's an example of how I'll use prong collars to save a dog's life, to change an owner's life. We don't talk about them too much on this channel because my big concern is that you can see what I'm able to achieve in such a short period of time. Good boy, Kendrick Brake. What I'm able to achieve in such a short space of time and then for somebody to rush out by one, do it in the incorrect way. Like anything, a tool can be used correctly like you've just seen or it can be used incorrectly and be an absolute disaster. So I always recommend if you've got a dog that requires that kind of behavior modification, that one of the best things you might want to look at is finding a good balanced behaviorist or trainer that has skill set and experience in being able to use a tool like a prong collar in a safe, fun and effective way like you've just seen me do. And as you saw with Kendrick, happy, uh, engaging with me, giving me kisses, giving me praise, no issues whatsoever. Um, and then we can then hand that off to the owner. And if you're in a similar position at home, you'll be able to get someone to hand that off to you. Now, if you watch that and think I could do that, then okay, give it a go. But like I say, the biggest takeaway I want you to take from it is we are always no pressure, no pressure, no pressure, no pressure until the undesirable behavior occurs and then we snap it out. That's it, quickly snap. And then you can use your verbal cue alongside that, which for me might be a sh or a ah -ah. And then eventually you don't need that verbal, the, uh, the physical correction anymore because your verbal correction carries so much weight because it's been associated with the minor correction of the prong collar that you can take the prong collar away and you're left with the desirable behavior and a very, very powerful verbal correction. The same way you might charge a marker with a clicker, you can do the same thing with correction. The reason a clicker works really well and you have to let the dog know that when it hears that click, you pay it. So when you do that click, it sends their minds racing and they get dead excited and they know they've done something good. That's where the power of clicker training comes in. You can do the same with a verbal correction, but if the correction doesn't carry any weight, like if you don't pay the clicker with food, uh, verbal correction won't work either if you're not ensuring that it has consequences and follow up. So there we go. I could waffle about this topic all day. If you like this more, what I would class as a bit of a higher level behavior modification, uh, kind of demonstration let us know i'm more than happy to do some more of these as well as the younger puppy work that we do a lot of on this channel let me know happy to help where i can and we'll see you on the next video